How's it going, YouTube? I'm doing outstanding, and welcome to Google Spreadsheets. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. I am going to be teaching you about logic gates, but in the weirdest possible way. Because I'm going to be teaching you how to build a calculator inside of Google Sheets. Now you may be wondering, well, why can't I just go one plus one? It says two. That's not the point. We're going to do it with logic gates because that's cooler. So, the simple idea uh, is that it will be a binary calculator, a one bit adder, which is fairly simple to make. Now, within Google Sheets, you actually have uh, the ability to do it really easily. So, let's set A to 0, B to 0, and C to 0. This is our input A, input B, and a carry. Um, you know, like when you carry your ones in math, that's what that is equivalent to. So, we're going to come over here, we're going to type equal XOR, which is, as it says, the logical XOR operator. Now, what that means is that um, you choose a logical expression. In this case, what I'm going to choose is A1, comma, B1. And what that means is if A is equal to 1 or B is equal to 1, the output will be true. Otherwise, it'll be false. So if they're both zeros, nada, it's false. If B is 1, it'll be equal to 1. If A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1, false. So, as you can see, it's going to be false. B will bring it to true. A will also bring it to true. And both will bring it back to false. Very useful. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here. Equal to and. Now this one's pretty simple. If we do and A comma B... This just means if A and B are both 1, then this will be true. And this is represented by, you know, A, nothing, B, still nothing, both of them, all of a sudden it becomes true. Next, we will put another either or or XOR out here, and it will be equal to the output of this one, as well as the Harry. So, if this is true, or the carry is true, true is equal to 1, then it will be true. And we will create a similar AND gate, equal to the output of this, as well as the carry. So now what we have is an two either ors, and two ands, and we are going to equal or, and an or gate should be fairly simple as well. It's, if this is equal to 1, or this is equal to 1, then this will be true. Uh, which in this case means, uh, if both of them are true, it will continue to be true. Next, what we'll do is we want to show our output in binary. So, if this is equal to true, the top either or, we want it to show 1, else it will show a 0. Over here, and it may seem a little backwards, but trust me. <laughs> this is going to be equal to if this one is equal to true 1, comma, 0. Meaning, I would say if this is true, show a 1. Otherwise, Leave it as zero, and it's the same for this. If, uh, if this is a true, put this as a one, otherwise it'll be a zero. This way, if, say, you set A equal to one, all of a sudden your number is one. If you set B equal to one, it's still going to show one, because on a calculator, if you add zero plus one, it's going it's to be one. Now, if you set the carry to one, that just means you added zero and zero and somehow carried 1. So the answer is 1. But if you set A and B to 1, this is 1 plus 1, and your answer is 10, which is binary for 2. 
Now, if you throw in the carry in there, obviously it's going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1, or 11, which is 3 in binary. So you can tell that this 1... like to do it. I like to make it a little bit more complicated, give myself a bit more of a challenge. So let's get rid of all of this and start over with a zero in A, B, and C. Now, I prefer to build this with nothing but or and not. These two gates can make up everything. It can make an AND gate and the either or gate. That's all we need is the OR and the NOT. So first, I'm going to start off by showing you the either OR gate that we need right off the bat. So in order to make that, we'll take an OR gate and we will make it equal to oops, no, not that, A comma B and then we will put a NOT on the end of it, which simply inverts it. That's all it's gonna do. So this is zero, this becomes one. If this becomes one, this becomes zero. Pretty easy. Next, we're gonna come up here and we are going to do another OR gate and it will be equal to the output of that NOT as well as A1. We'll put another OR gate over here which will be equal to the same output and the B. And we want to invert those as well. Bada bing, bada boom. And then I will just cut, paste, and then we will put an OR gate up here, and we'll make it equal to those. So if I put equal to XOR A comma B, you'll see that these two will say the same thing. See? True. True. False. False. Beautiful. All right. So, that's our first XOR gate. Now, obviously we're going to need the output of that to go into another XOR gate. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste another one over here. Eh, you know what? Let's build the AND gate first. That makes more sense, doesn't it? So, an AND gate. To make one from the NORs that we just used, what you're going to do is put an OR equal to OR A, which <laughs> seems a little weird, but that is technically how it would be done if you were like actually building it with circuits. Uh the two inputs of OR would both be A, but we don't need to put A and A. So we'll put another one here, and this one will be B. So both of these are, that's just A, and that's just B. We want to invert that. Equal to NOT. So we've now just inverted our A and B pretty much. And then we will put an OR gate here on that and that. And then we will invert that. And if I put an AND gate here, A comma B, they should say the same thing. That's not accurate. There we go. It says false, false, true. Perfect. So we have now built our first either or gate and our first and gate. So let's go ahead and throw in our second and gate because that's a little bit easier to build. So equal to or. And this one will be the output of this as well as the carry. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry. Give me a second. That's not right. <laughs> That's the whole AND gate. That's not what I meant to do. It's equal to OR 
that this one will be equal to or that. There we go. Sorry, I got a little bit messed up because I know it's supposed to have two, but we're just doing one on these ones, as I mentioned earlier. So we want to invert this bad boy, invert that bad boy, and then equal to or this comma this equal to not that. There we go. So now we've got our two AND gates built. So we're going to want to throw down the other either or gate. So just like this one being A or B, this is going to be equal to this comma this. There we go. So we want the output of this one as well as the carry and to invert it. Beautiful. And then just like we did here of this and A and this or this and B, we're going to do the same thing here equal to or this comma the output of this one equal to or output of this and the the carry equal to not that one don't want that to be there equal to oh not that but a not that perfect and then equal to or on the two outputs and then we also want to throw the original or gate that combines the two and gates so obviously it's a lot bigger than the previous one but you will find that if I put this equal to if this is true one zero I want that one there and then if our or gate is equal to true one zero and you'll see that if B is equal to 1, we get a 1. If A is equal to 1, we get a 1. If C is equal to 1, we get a 1. A or 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. There we go. We have now just built a 1-bit adder using just or and not to make either or gates and gates and so on. Now, what's crazy about this is you can just, let me get rid of that. We can just copy this whole system here, paste it right here. Ah, what do you know? We've got a whole lot of value problems, and there's a good reason for that. Because A14 and B14 don't exist. But what we're going to want to do is duplicate those set those to zero let's set these back to zero as well so that nothing gets messed up you know this one we want it equal to that's what i meant can undo that just a2 b2 perfect as you can tell it has changed a lot of it now this one is the more interesting one. We no longer care about the C because we have that now. It's this one. So we want to set this to H12, no, J, J10. There we go. So that is set to our OR gate, which is our carry out. And then these are carry in plus either or output of either or. So, yeah, 
So it takes in the carry-in as well as this, and it puts its own thing, which we can deal with in a second. This one, we want set to a a two. We want this set to b two. We want this one set to i sixteen, which is good. And this one we want set to j10 and then if i've done this right and i'm sorry i i am fully aware that i can make mistakes here <laughs> let's see we want equal to if is equal to true 1 comma 0 equal to uh, if this one is equal to true one comma zero and lastly or other carry out that isn't being carried in if j23 is equal to true one comma zero so if i did this right um and we'll leave carry on the first one is zero, so one. Perfect. It is showing that right there is one, because that's our new first place. This should be one as well. Perfect. Now this one should show up in the second place, right there, or the tens place. Perfect. And then if we add one plus one, it still equals two. Very good. It's nice to see when math works out. So let's set that to 1, and that one to 2, 1, 1, 0. Sorry. That's 3, not 2. I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. Um, yes, that, this is correct, because 1, 1, so just in case you don't know, 0 is equal to 0, 1 is equal to 1. One zero is two. One one is three. Oh no. Four. That's not right. What? One one oh oh should be four. One 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 five. One oh six. Seven. Eight. Now, we don't really care about that one. But. So right now, that is not being represented properly. I was wondering. Yeah, it's, there was something that just didn't look right. Neither of those are showing up right. Hmm. Did I fuck it up? Probably. <laughs> Don't worry about all that. Let's let's just reverse a little. Do 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 do. Let's go back in time. Beautiful. This one works. This one's accurate, and that's all that matters. This one plus one plus one does equal three, as I showed you before. One zero two one one three, and then this one should be four, but it didn't work. <laughs> I don't know what it, it was. Something was weird about it. I don't know. Maybe I was just reading wrong. I'm tired. It's like four in the morning. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know down below if you want to see more things like this. Obviously, I can make the full 4-bit adder in the future, if that's what you'd like. Figure out what I did wrong first. <laughs> um, please check out the Patreon down below. Uh, it could really help me right now. All right. You guys have a good one.